Jade and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on what's been happening with my views and uh, my choices on nutrition and diet and all that stuff post full recovery. I'm nine months past full recovery from my health crash. So first thing I wanted to say is that I do believe like looking back and just having that experience, I realized that uh, how I was about my nutrition and my relationship with food and um, yeah, the diet that I was doing at the time was like one of the major contributors to the health imbalance, the health crash that I went through. Um, so a little backstory, I was born and raised like eating really, I mean I was very blessed, like our, my family really took pride in the food making and the cooking and everything. So I ate from like homegrown, like my grandparents were like farmers, so they grew a lot of their own vegetables and everything. So uh, like homegrown, like high quality food that was all like made from scratch. So that was a, a great blessing I had. Uh, and we like, there wasn't that much, I was practically vegan, <laughs> um, there was like very little, if ever, animal products when I was growing up, and but I did eat a lot of eggs, uh, and not that much dairy either. Not until I was like 14, I, you know, I'm going to school and everything, and I decided to eat more uh, fish, and again, I, I was not raised on taboos, where it was like, oh, no, you're like vegan, so you don't eat this and that. It was just more like that's what it was and it worked then. And then when I decided to eat more fish and chicken and stuff like that, I, of course, because of my upbringing, I ate like the most high quality I could find, organic and free range and all that, um, wild, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, so that, I was very blessed. And then I, yeah, there was never like a taboo thing. Um, I just kind of, ate well and it worked really well until I became an adult and I started just like most people I got influenced by a lot of the media and a lot of extremes and there were goals that I wanted to achieve with my body and my fitness um, partially due to my the sports I was playing but also uh, the line of work you know acting commercials um, I did some modeling at the time and you know, it's like you have to be really perfect and really, uh, yeah, like extreme, I guess. Well, I thought, anyways. So I've tried literally every diet, and I was, I'm also a certified personal trainer. I have a, a long time business training many, many clients, including a lot of celebrities. And so I was very well read and educated and certified and all that. However, that didn't take the extreme personality out of me. So knowing everything that I knew, I still fell into, you know, wanting to be extreme, like even on myself. I would advise my clients and people I was working with totally different, like in balance. But I, for some reason, for myself, I wanted to go above and beyond. And I really, I mean, just like I've done keto, uh, raw vegan, I've done, um, you know, the no grains, the gluten free, I mean, every diet, like Adkins, Paleo, uh, you know, mac, like one macro a day, like all the diets that you can think about that I've tried. And I, when I try something, I go all the way. And I did, I did pretty extreme, all of them. And um, it was never great on my body. And though I got a lot of like temporarily like great results and I was shredded a lot and stuff like that, I never felt amazing for too long. Like I couldn't sustain it. Um, and, and it's funny because now thinking retrospect, when I was eating just like intuitively and just eating high quality and I didn't have any restrictions or taboos like the way I was raised and growing up I was just as fit and just as ripped like I I don't know when 
Well, I do know when, but I, you know, when that got in my head with the whole like extreme and lifestyle and like just, you know, you stick to your diet and all that, it got to me. And it wasn't until the whole health crash thing that woke me up <laughs> to the fact that like, um, I think my dog heard my laundry, sorry. Uh, it woke me up and was like, you know, I, I really realized that I, it was too, it wasn't good for me at all and it actually wasn't getting me what I want. Okay, so, and so now after having recovered from the health crash and everything, the sound of dieting or restricting or just like being on some kind of plan that is, you know, man-made and it's just permanent kind of thing does not sound good to me as Jaden or like my body. Like my body now is so sensitive to abuse uh, that it's just like, no, don't do that. That's what hefts you up and this is not something you want to keep doing. So I still do have uh, very inspiring fitness goals and performance goals that I want to get to. But this time around, I'm going to do it in a way where it doesn't involve all those extreme dieting beliefs and all that. And again, this is just what I've come to and I'm going to do for myself. Um, and I want to prove to myself and, and just inspire myself that it can be done. Getting to the kind of fitness shape and health and performance in sports and stuff that you desire without being off balance and being extreme and like living a life that you just you can't sustain it I mean I tried and I ended up in a health crash you know and I'm a very disciplined person and I, I pushed myself to the point that you know I tried to sustain something that was unsustainable pretty much and that's part a huge cont contributor to my health crash was my food uh, the whole dieting, the extremes, and overtraining as well, which I'll do all about the physical part, the overtraining part on a separate video, but today's more about just like the nutrition and food. So that brings me up to date. And so for now, going forward, yes, I still have these, uh, you know, fitness and body goals that I want to obtain again, but I have a plan for myself now, and it's a very intuitive plan. It's very, you know, moment to moment. Because, I mean, if you guys think about it, our bodies are like these ever-evolving biological machines. And so if you think one diet or one way of eating that will work forever under all conditions, it's just, you know, for myself, I'm not gonna speak for anyone else because we're all entitled to our own creation and our choices in life. But for me, I've come to terms that that's not gonna ever work for me. Because I'm ever evolving and ever changing and it's not gonna, you know, what I need today doing what I'm doing now versus three weeks from now or three weeks ago or 10 years ago, it's gonna be different. So your food's gonna be different. And your body is pretty amazing. It tells you what it needs. I mean, if you're, if you're able to look inward and just are a very aware person, your body tells you a lot. Okay, and that's also something that's it's just proven to me again through this health crash. I've always known this, but like through this health crash, I really realized like how true that is. Like our bodies are just designed to let us know what's right for us and what's not right for us in the moment, and it changes. Uh, so I don't believe anymore like doing one diet style or even a protocol is going to work indefinitely. Now my plan uh, is to just go day by day and just intuitively check in with myself, you know? And I, I believe that my body is very capable of communicating to me and I'm very good at listening to it. So it's just a matter of continue to practice that instead of, you know, before the mistake was I kind of fell off of that kind of natural instincts and I kind of got bought into the whole, you know, media and everything. And then it kind of override my instincts. So now I came full circle and I'm gonna try my best to just do what feels right, guys. Uh, it's really simple. Again, that's something I've come to. It's not something I'm suggesting you to do or preaching or saying that that is the only way. Uh, maybe extreme dieting works for some people and, um, 
for my dog. Uh, so uh, I think like he's agreeing with me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I that's all with my outlook on that, and it's working really well. You know, I don't cut out anything. I eat high quality, but I also switch it up. Um, I don't promote a full veganism, and I don't say that it's not good. I don't promote meat eating, and I don't say that it's not good. You know, it's just what works for me right now, and it's due to change soon or not. It's just day to day, checking in with myself, and that's all I'm sharing. Uh, it's not a video about how to or what you should do. It's just a video of uh, what inspires me and what feels right to me, and uh, I have a passion in sharing it because I believe it um, I believe that that is the right thing for me right now um, anyways that is what I've gathered from this whole experience and that's how I want to move forward I'm definitely motivated to share this progress and um, you know share with how my body is looking how my body's feeling my energy my performance and all that I uh, won't necessarily do like a full-on series of my transformation or something like that. I just think that's like so overdone on YouTube already. But I, I, of course, I'm going to just check in time to time and give you guys an update on how that is all going. Um, I'm very excited to prove to myself and show myself that actually prove is the wrong word because I already believe that is how it is. But just show myself that, you know, it's it's gonna work if you just check in with yourself and feel good and like enjoy it. And you're gonna get what you want on top of enjoying the journey. You don't have to like beat yourself up and get into this like regimen to get what you want. It's like this weird ingrained like you have to suffer before you get what you want. And it's so not true, because if you suffer, you're just gonna suffer more. And suffering is not getting what you want, at least it's not getting what I want. So, uh, yes, I'm telling a lot of this, and I use the word you, but I don't mean like you, I just mean like general terms. It's kind of like me talking to myself too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video, and uh, I hope you subscribe if you haven't. Uh, give me a like if you're enjoying my videos. Uh, and if you're inspired by the stuff that I talk about and if my videos on health crash recovery helped you, please give me a like and share my videos. And I hope, hope to uh, look, and I look forward, oh my God, I can't even talk. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Namaste. No, I'm just kidding. That's so not me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Did you